Alright, what is going on friends? This is Jake from JK Fitness and obviously first of all, wishing you a very happy new year. I hope you've had a great start to the new year so far. So in this video, I'm going to go over a full body beginner body rate home workout that as I said, you can complete in the comfort of your own home. And obviously you can follow along with me as we do this workout. And obviously if you do enjoy this workout and you know, you actually want a specific training and nutrition plan for your needs that again, you can get in the best shape of your life at home if you'd like. Train with Jake is now officially alive. If you obviously were not aware of that before, which again is in the link in the description below if you'd like to learn more about that and sign up today. Also the full workout of this workout is gonna be in the description below. So all the sets, the reps, the rest time, is gonna be there for you. And so without further ado, Let's get in to the full workout. Now, so we're gonna kick this workout off with a paired set. We're gonna do a chin up progression first, and then we're going to pair it with a pipe push up, which again, description below, the rest times are all laid out for you. And so with a chin up, we're gonna do a jumping chin up, right? This is basically where you're gonna pull up and jump up with assistance and then lower down without assistance. This is something I use for all of my clients and it's also one of the variations included in the new Chain with Jake programs to help you bridge the gap between, you know, obviously assisted chin-ups and then the full unassisted chin-ups for reps. So obviously to demonstrate here, obviously grab the bar with a supinated grip. So palms facing towards you. And from here you want to start in a dead hang with your feet on the floor. So from here, as you pull up, you also jump up from the feet, lower down control. And again, repeat for repetition. So when you start out with these, you want to start with more jumping, to help more and provide more assistance. And then as you get stronger, you use less and less assistance to the point where you no longer actually need the feet to help with assistance. So paired with the jumping chin-ups, we're gonna do some pipe push-ups. Now pipe push-ups is also gonna help build strength in the shoulders in particular, and is also something I've covered in previous videos. I've got a couple popular pipe push-up tutorials uh, on this YouTube channel, and so again, I'll link a card up here of uh, one of them for you to help with obviously progressions or regressions. So with the pipe push-up, you wanna start with your hands just outside shoulder width apart, hands gripping the ground tight, and then obviously start with your hips piped up, stick that butt up nice and high, so you should feel a slight stretch in the hamstrings. You can start this, with your knees bent if you like to start out and then focus on straightening your legs as you get stronger. So again, starting out, the shoulders fully elevated, so shrugged up as so. Then from here we're gonna lower down, glutes and core engaged, so not arch and lower back. Forehead in front of the hands, press up and repeat. Now, after we've done our vertical pulling and vertical pushing, we're now gonna move on to some horizontal pulling and pushing. So we're gonna start with a horizontal pull, which is gonna be pronated body rows, right? Now, obviously here I'm gonna demonstrate this on gymnastic rings. If you've got gymnastic rings, that's great. If not, uh, and you've got some dip bars, that's perfectly fine. Because uh, again, you can use whichever one best suits you. I just like doing on gymnastic rings because they just feel nice around the elbows. So with that said, starting out, right, we'll start with the knees bent variation. So that's the easier one. So again, starting out, glutes and core engaged. So again, our body is nice and flat. Don't want it curved like a banana shape or overextending a so. Nice and neutral. And so from here, hands shoulder width apart, pull the shoulder blades down and back, and then drive, pull to the top, lower down control, and repeat. If this is too easy, you can actually extend your legs out and do body rows with your legs straight. Now, paired with the pronated body rows, we're gonna do a push-up plus. Now, a push-up plus is an extension of the regular push-up to actually help with progressing onto harder body weight progressions. Now, if you do actually need some help with actually having a more regressed variation of the push-up, like incline push-ups, again, I can link a card up here to actually help you with that specifically. So, start out with the push-up plus. Now, this looks very similar to the actual push-up, but the difference is important. So, first of all, Hands about shoulder width apart, closer here, because this is gonna work more of the triceps in particular. So, start out with this, shoulders externally rotated, pressing the scapula into depression, as so, and protraction. 
And from here, we're gonna lower it down with control, chest to the ground, press up, and then extend the scapula fully. fully. I mean, you're not gonna come up with the hips like this. The hips do, do not move at all. You're literally just fully extending and strengthening the scapula. Now it's time to hit the legs and obviously with legs, especially with bodyweight training, the best way we can work and get some intensity to grow the legs is obviously through unilateral training. So we're going to do the archer squat here, which is actually a great way to build strength and mobility in the legs. And there's also a good progression for one leg squats and the pistol squats. So with that said, starting out with the arch squat, you're going to get a wide stance here. So much wider than shoulder width as so. And from here, obviously starting out glutes and core engaged. You're gonna lower down onto one side while keeping the opposing knee straight, not letting it internally rotate, letting it externally rotate as so, so the joints are kept in a strong and healthy position, right? Heels are planted on the floor at all times. And again, opposing leg is straight, press up, and then move on to the other side with the same cues. Keep the knee in place, keep the heels planted on the floor as so, and then, Repeating this for repetitions. As I said, if you actually want to make this harder, especially as the legs are obviously the strongest muscle group in the body, you can obviously hold a dumbbell and use that with some extra weight. To make it easier, you bring your feet in a little bit and you can actually do side to side squats instead, as shown here. Now finishing off this bodyweight home workout, we're gonna do some core work and some ab work. So it's gonna be a pad set, as I said, of some isometrics to actually strengthen the core and the abdominal muscles, as well as the posterior chain, as I'll show you. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a basic elbow plank, and I'm gonna show you progressions and regressions of each. So again, with an elbow plank as so, obviously what you wanna have mainly in mind is obviously around, hands placed around shoulder width apart, and again, Scapulas for the, you know, protracted and depressed like the push-up. You don't want to let them sink into shoulder blades or so. Press them away. Glutes and core engaged. So your body is literally like a firm piece of wood. Literally like, like your form should be good to the point where like someone can literally put a wooden piece or a plank, a wooden piece of, pl a, pl a wooden plank on your back. Do you know what I mean? And so, as so, glutes and core engaged. Not piking up, not sinking down. Nice and neutral. And literally squeeze your glutes and hold for time. And you see I'm shaking a little bit here. Maybe I need to actually strengthen my abs as well. <laughs> so again, hold this for time, as so. And to actually make this harder, if you wanna make it harder, is that you can actually lengthen the lever. So again, instead of your position being like this, you actually bring your arms forward. So again, you're lengthening the lever. I actually suffered a twist in the pelvis when I was younger. So literally anything that puts some load under my lower back makes me shiver and tremble like this. But if you're trembling like this, it goes to show that you're doing the exercise right. God damn, my abs are on fire just after doing that for like 30 seconds. But <laughs> so once you've done your uh, elbow plank, you also want to combine this the arch body. So obviously the plank is going to mainly strengthen your core and your anterior chain at the front of your body, whereas the arch body is going to help strengthen the muscles in the posterior chain, like the lower back, uh, the glutes, the erector spinae, all that good stuff. So again, the arch body hold, what you want to do is hold for time in the complete opposite direction. Raise your body up as so, squeezing your whole body and holding for time. Now with the arch body, if you actually want to make it easier, again, having your arms straight is going to be harder, whereas having your elbows bent so, is going to provide a little bit more leverage in your favor to make it slightly easier. Now, if this is easy and this is easy, you then bring your feet together and your hands closer to make it more difficult. 
And so there we have it. That is the full workout. Obviously, give this routine a try and obviously let me know how it goes. And as always, like I said at the start of the video, if you enjoyed this video and you're actually looking for more specific guidance and structure in terms of actually building muscle, losing fat, and transforming your body at home, Train With Jake and Train With Jake at Home is actually now officially live to again help you get in the best shape of your life for less than one pound a day. And of course, like I said, I have said with Train With Jake, Train With Jake in the gym is also available. So again, all my training and nutrition programs are available for you in the first link in the description below. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, by all means give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what I'd love to know is obviously what you thought the workout and what type of workout videos you want to see next so obviously I'm more than happy to make them for you in the near future if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet then I highly encourage you to subscribe now and turn on post notifications because I make new videos every week to help you transform your body through body weight training and skinny fat coaching and yeah once again thank you so, so much for watching I'll see you in the next video keep moving forward and let's make 2021 a good year for all of us ciao ciao